Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be working back on this uh, 71C10 and uh, I'm just going to get this motor pulled apart so I can get it uh, ready to do a little sandblast and paint on it. So it's going to pull this transmission off here and probably the manifolds and we'll see. I think I'll probably just leave these brackets on here and uh, just mask, mask the rest of the stuff off. And it just needs to be lightly sandblasted and uh, just to knock this paint off and rough it up just because it's already all flaking everywhere, like it's so bad. So obviously they didn't do very much prep work or just use really shitty paint. But anyways, we'll just uh, get it pulled apart here and up onto an engine stand. Alright, so I got the motor back up on the stand here and uh, got it pretty much stripped. I got to do a few more things. I think uh, probably just pull like this bracket off and these pulleys off, but I'll just gonna use a little bit of Gorilla Tape and mask off all the intakes and everything and then just hit it with my uh, little sandblast here just to knock the paint off. I mean, it's not gonna take much because like, look at this. Look at this paint here. It's just falling off. So it must have been greasy when they painted it or something, but this poor engine stand's just hanging on for dear life. Look at this. <laughs> Heavy ass uh, big block on here. But I'm just gonna leave this for now and I got uh, a little bit more done on the cab here. So last night I got my dad to help me and we did the seam sealer around the drip edge. I fixed it because we had a, I screwed it up last time and did all the seam sealer on the edges here. So it all looks pretty good. I, I put a little bit of high solids on of uh, where I sanded this down here. So I gotta do a little bit of sanding to sand that out. Sand out where it had the little bit of a dent. Sand this out and uh, up top here. So this is, I seam sealed this last time and then I just sanded that out and then block that out. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this uh, black powder. It's like a chalk pretty much and it's just for guide coat. Let's go over all this. And then just uh, 400. Sand this out to 400 grit and then should be good to go. And I can, uh, I'm gonna reseal the whole entire cab and then do my uh, white base coat for that. All right, I pretty much got it all ready for sealer here now. I just did a final wipe on it and this sucker is looking wicked. So we got all the seam sealer nice. Uh, it seems sealed here. Then this is where I was blocking out the the high solids on the edge here, and a little bit I had to fix here. So this is pretty much all ready to go. Had one little ding here to fix, and uh, should be ready for sealer now. So I'm just gonna spray it again with the same. I, this is Delta sealer too. So I'm just gonna do it again with Delta sealer, and then I can do my base coat. So I'll just mix them up here and uh, spray it down. So I got the sealer laid down here and man, this sucker looked good. Holy, look how flat this laid. Everything looks wicked, so. I just gotta give it another 10 minutes or so and then I can put my uh, white base coat on here. So yeah, it turned out wicked. So it was a little more work that I had to do the sealer twice and fix a couple spots, but definitely in the long run, worth it. So yeah, it's gonna look awesome. White all laid down here, and man, does it look good. Check out this. This is just one coat of white. So now I'm just gonna go over the whole thing with this uh, foam back, like 800 to 1,000 grit, and just knock any tops off or any like nibs off or anything. I mean, it's pretty much like I don't, I hardly have to, but there's just a couple little, you know, any little thing, piece of the dust or anything like that, right? So. So I just go it over it really light and uh, just just makes the paint job that much cleaner. 
over this whole thing and make sure I have no imperfections. Like I had a little bit of something in here, right there. So you can take it out with this. And then we'll uh, do two more base coats over top of this. And uh, I'll have to let it dry again because I'm gonna mask it off and uh, do the orange on the bottom. So I got the base coat all done on the top. And uh, I just had a little bit of a mess up here on the back of the cab. So I'm actually just gonna leave it, let it dry overnight. And uh, tomorrow I can just sand that out a little bit on the base coat. But besides that, it looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna have to mask it off tomorrow and I'll paint my orange on the bottom. So that'll uh, be it for tonight. So uh, see you tomorrow. All right, so I got this uh, back part fixed. So I'm just gonna do one coat over the, or two coats over this back part right here, a base coat, and then I should be able to let it dry and then I can mask it off for the, for the orange on here. So everything else looks really good though. Through. Everything else is done. So I just gotta figure out how to mask this line off. Cause I think the orange will be from here down. And then the white stays in here on the inside of the door to right about here, I think is where it goes. So I also have to spray this one little spot, make sure it's good. And then I can uh, let it dry and uh, mask it off. So I got the top all masked off here, so I'm pretty much ready to spray the orange. Just gotta tack it off here quick and uh, lay that down. And I'll just peel it off after to do the clear coat on the whole entire cap. So. finish up the orange here like 10 minutes ago and I'm just going to uh, peel the masking tape off try not to this is yeah the paint oh, about dry to the touch now so I should be able to take it off All right, so I had a couple of spots where I had uh, the orange kind of coming up underneath the uh, underneath the tape there. So I had to mask it off and airbrush it. So I think we got all that beat. And then I had also from the tape sticking to the base coat, made some weird, uh, I don't know if it was, what exactly it was. But I had my dad help me and we used the uh, 400 grit and sanded it out uh, real lightly with a little bit of water. So uh, should be good now and uh pretty much just need to tack it off now blow it off real quick tack it and uh finally time for some clear coat get this thing beat Up. I did four coats and dang, look at this. Turned out wicked. Super clean. The lid on here. So I'm just gonna let it dry for a couple days now, but everything looks pretty darn good. So all this take it out here and uh, next step is put it on the chassis I guess and we can start assembling the interior put the motor back in I still got to paint the motor but I'll do that in the next video sandblast and paint it and uh, start assembling a little bit of interior but I can't wait to get this thing on mass it's gonna be awesome so uh, super stoked at how good it turned out super clean like pretty much no junk in the paint so it should make cutting and buffing it really easy so 
Anyways, thanks for watching and tune in for the next one. Peace.